Hello everyone, welcome to Infi Minutes. In this video clip, we will discuss one numerical on uh, frequency modulation. The question goes something like this. The maximum deviation allowed in an FM broadcast system is 75 kilohertz. If the modulating signal is a single tone sinusoidal signal of 20 kilohertz, find the bandwidth of FM using Carson's rule. What will be the change in bandwidth if modulating signal frequency is doubled? Determine the bandwidth when modulating signal amplitude is doubled. So there are a couple of questions uh, before we find out the bandwidth of the FM signal. So let's uh, start solving this particular question. Now we all know that the Carson's rule approximates the bandwidth necessary to transmit an angle modulated uh, signal which could be uh, frequency modulated uh, or phase modulated. The expression of uh, this bandwidth is nothing but twice delta F plus FM and this can also be written in the form of modulation index which will be twice mu F plus 1 into FM where uh, this FM is nothing but modulating signal frequency uh, and as per the given question FM is given to be of 20 kilohertz and uh, delta F is peak frequency deviation uh, now in the question the it is mentioned that the maximum deviation allowed in an FM broadcast system is 75 kilohertz so we will consider the same value for delta F as 75 kilohertz so if I use these two values, I will get bandwidth as twice 75k plus 20k uh, and this will come out to be 190 kilohertz. So that's the bandwidth that I'm going to require uh, in the first case. So we have solved the first part of the question. In the second part of the question, the question says what will be the change in bandwidth if modulating frequency is doubled. So now modulating signal frequency, that means FM nu is twice FM, it is doubled and it is doubled that means it will be nothing but 40 kilohertz in this case. So twice FM will be 40 kilohertz. So let us find out what will be the new bandwidth. Now even when I am doubling the modulating signal frequency, the value of delta F will remain constant because the question mentions that the maximum deviation allowed is 75 kilohertz. So nowhere delta F is going to change. So the new bandwidth will be nothing but twice delta F plus FM nu. Uh, and this will now become delta F is 75k which is not changing but yes FM is changing to 40k. So the bandwidth required, new bandwidth required will be equal to 230 kilohertz. So this is the new bandwidth uh, that we require. And the third part in the question is what will happen to the bandwidth when signal free signal amplitude is doubled now it can be easily seen that from the expression that we have written of bandwidth uh, using Carson's rule nowhere the bandwidth depends upon amplitude of the signal it depends upon FM which is the modulating signal frequency and delta F is the frequency deviation which is a constant value as per the given question uh, so nowhere we have dependence upon uh, modulating signal amplitude and hence uh, we conclude that bandwidth will not change even when amplitude is doubled. So that's the answer to the final part of the question. Bandwidth does not change when signal amplitude is doubled. So this was a simple question where delta F and FM were given and we had to find bandwidth using Carson's rule. Uh, as you can see if the modulating signal frequency will uh, double that means if it increases the bandwidth will also increase but when the amplitude is doubled or when the signal amplitude is changed the bandwidth will not change uh, as per this question because delta F was a constant value and when you change the amplitude you don't change the frequency that means the bandwidth will also not change.